welcome back friends, and uh, boy do I have some exciting news for you today. And no, it's not an April Fool's actually, but uh, yeah. Let's just see what uh, happened first though, after our depressing, depressing loss to Young Boys. I mean, Young Boys came and stole our lunch money, I guess, uh, uh, this year. Since then it's been, uh, well, stressful, but uh, we have won three games. Uh, beat Leicester, West Ham and Fulham. All very stressful. Like I'm losing my. I'm good. This this thing is gonna go grey at some point because of all the stress I'm encountering. And uh, yeah, and then today we'll play Arsenal and then probably City as well. I'll skip maybe skip the Everton game. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, to the exciting news because youth. What is it called? Uh, we have had a youth intake and boy was it good. Look at this, Mr. Benjamin Jensen. I mean, five star potential. Who knows? Seventeen determination, seventeen teamwork already, and agility sixteen. Take a look at this. I mean, already at Manchester City are interested. I understand why. He could be phenomenal. 15 years old. Um, where else? Mr. Kim Hansen, defender. I mean, just look at him. I mean, he's just so good. 15 tackling already at 15. Four and a half star, maybe, right? Um, what else? Oh, this is, yeah, just the best one. Philip Stenop, I think you would say it. Uh, goalkeeper. Potentially five stars. I mean, just look at him, right? I would have loved a bit more determination on him, but... Mm, I mean, he's already two-star current ability, which is ridiculous. Uh, Kim Hansen, we showed you. Then we have a sneaky little Afghan player here. <laughs> also maybe four and a half star. Strength of one. Not not amazing, but uh, yeah. It's kind of fun that he's Afghan. He is, though, uh, half Danish as well, so hopefully it's one... Maybe I'll become the Dane, Dane, Denmark manager at one point and then quickly make this guy into Dane. Uh, otherwise, I mean, we're going to have to sell him at some point because, uh, yeah, rules are rules. Other than that, I mean, there's actually so many. Like four stars here. This guy is as well. Like potentially four stars. So many. This is without doubt the best youth intake I've ever had. Uh, it is amazing. I mean, you can see the player, uh, clubs are just randomly interested in him straight away, which is... You know, very, very interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get snap them up on real contracts, of course. Uh, this guy is also. Who's interested in him? Huddersfield as well. Weird, he's not the best of them, but yeah, very happy with that. Uh, so, um, boom! Yeah, this guy, Mr. Stenholt, because I obviously I have a bit of a problem with my goalkeeper. I don't trust Michael, and uh, I think this guy is gonna rocket into our uh, team, like in the near future. He's probably gonna. Maybe even play, but uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, but yeah, speaking of Michael and speaking of team, uh, let's jump into the Arsenal game. And uh, this is going to be our squad. You can see there's lots of unavailables, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's 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 not good. But <clears throat> we're gonna make do. Uh, so the team is gonna be Schmeichel, Vass, Anderson, Christensen, Poulsen, Hoyvia, Billing, Billing. Uh, where is Mr. Delaney? Delaney is still suspended, so yeah, Billing slots in, which he does very well usually. Uh, Skull Eriksson, Bon Larsen, and then Paulsen up front, who has I guess been kind of the surprise package in this one. Um, I I don't know how he's doing so well, but yeah, <laughs> eleven finishing. I'm never gonna get over that, but yeah. I mean, he has great attributes, right? But right, well, let's get into it because uh, yeah, let's kill some gooners. Kill them with, I don't know, kind words again, or love, or uh, I, I don't know. Right, we're underway. Team Talk guys told them we have nothing to lose, which is definitely wrong, because I can lose my sanity uh, if uh, things go as I expect them to. Um, but uh, let's not hope for that, uh, as the Gooners are, I guess the Gooners are technically the fans, and uh, I'm not sure. But uh, Arsenal are driving the forward, Kibayos, to like I said, and he's, um, yeah... That uh, at least there were no errors involved, so I'm happy about that. I mean, obviously I'm not happy if they scored, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was quite the strike from Mr. Lacazette. Let's see it again. But Kibayas with the assist. I mean, he's just very open there, isn't he? We just stop marking him, and then yeah, not much we could do about that one, I guess. Okay, starts off with the corner, so whew, I mean, it goes close. So are we gonna get another chance as well? Feeling to score, he's so open there. but yeah, he needs to get to, to his. Oh, what? Um, okay, I mean, I certainly didn't expect that. <laughs> that looked uh, not dangerous at all. But Leno, I think, has done a bit of a well, he's done a smite, wasn't he? Let's be honest. <clears throat> he's scoring, this is great. 
then he has to get it to the left and then Paulson just hits it and yeah Leno <laughs> uh yeah let's go with the are we gonna are we gonna okay Leno has remembered what he's there for which is to use his hands on the ball which is a shame for us but you know can't be too critical okay Julian what you oh my god like I said is why are we not marking him I mean, should we be man-marking him? I don't think we should, but, I mean, that was just rubbish. Yeah, I don't need to see that again, actually. Even though I probably should have seen that tackle. That was reckless from Polson. <laughs> Maybe a chance for us here, Eriksson on the ball. Yeah, best with a great cross. And then, oh my god, I thought he was going to miss it there. I mean, Leno almost with a humongous save, right? Well, then he kind of wobbles in there. And Polson, oh, scoring goals. Yeah, I still don't know what to make of it. Maybe you guys should buy him in your games, even though <laughs> no sane person would buy a striker like that. Right? I mean, that is, that is so close to perfection from Leno there, but yeah, unlucky for him. I guess he does fit what we're trying to do, right? He is like the perfect pressing forward, except he can't really finish. But then I think you just have better options if that's what you want. I mean, I, I'm immediately off the top of my head, Werner from Chelsea, right? That's kind of what he does as well, as this is... Uh, Looking a bit strange, <laughs> and oof, I'm, I could sense a bit of rage happening. Rage from. I mean, I'm almost angry uh, on behalf of Arsenal there because that was uh, that was definitely not good from them. So here, like, why doesn't he take the ball? Okay, fine. And then this is is it a flick on? Yeah, it is. And then, <laughs> I mean, who is that? Tierney, you know, the worst left back in the world apparently on this day. It just ignores the ball um but yeah i mean the amount of time it's happened to me i think it's only fair that it happens to them sometimes okay so what do we do uh, he still says we're underdogs well come on uh you might be winning but that's can all change the ball is round and feet or feet and stuff is smelly and i don't know don't know what i'm saying let's go with a corner and as again off the bar hmm you do look dangerous from the corners randomly Eriksson with another one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go on, go on. Nah. Okay, let's not... Please get to the ball. Oh, my God. Yeah, another corner highlight. Oh, Anderson just loves it. He loves it. Maybe SI have heard me, and now the corners work. But now nah, we all know that there's a trick to it. When the highlight starts with the corner, then it's a potential, very, uh, potential goal, but... If it's just a corner as a result of a shot or something, then there's never a goal. Never anything happens. Let's get dumped score on for Boon Larsen, who's apparently playing a six. Even though we're scored three two. Uh three two? We've scored three goals. He's playing a six. That is that is not good. Okay. Hoybia. Feeling. Yeah, someone just shoot. Uh, oh Paulson is in? He's in? Oh he's offside. Oh my god. That would have been that was a great finish as well. I mean I guess Leno kinda of stopped playing there but I don't think he would have saved that even if, if he had tried good defending there from Anderson can you tell I'm on edge I, we all know what's going to happen innit? maybe if I just keep talking about it enough it won't happen I'm daring the system as Arsenal are kind of luring us forward but then we do just win the ball so the final touch there was not quite good enough okay feeling Eriksson men is running he's, they're running Running, running, run, running. I mean, we're playing some lovely tiki-taka here. And Paulson is in again, and he does it. He actually scores a hat-trick. What the heck have I done to Josef Paulson? I've made him, like, the best striker in the world. Let's see this again. I mean, the build-up here is beautiful, right? Oh, my God. The first touch football, and then Eriksson with the kind of, I don't know, the through ball. And then, I mean, Paulson was actually a part of that as well, which is even more great. I was going to do a change, but let's just do this highlight first and see who I'm going to take off when they inevitably throw the ball away. Um, <clears throat> Ericsson driving it forward. Is he going to just do it again to Paulson? Yeah. I mean, what on earth? Is, is this my fault? Have I done it? I mean, I know I'm great at manager, right? But have, have I... Is this me? I haven't done anything. I think it's the, the fear factor of my, uh, my beautiful uh, beard here. <laughs> Paulson just he's a goal machine apparently I would love for you guys to like try out Mr. Paulson in your your saves as well like just give it a go it doesn't matter if you're playing United or 
uh, you know, playing Luton and work your way up through the ranks or something. Like, just try him out. It'd be fun if you're like United or City or something and just buy him in the first season and see if he actually does well. Just play him all the time, even though you have world-class players there. Just say, screw it and play Mr. Paul. I mean, let's get him a standing ovation as we're speaking about it, anyway. And put Dolve on instead of him. <clears throat> as <laughs> the distribution was not good there. Sco to Damsgore! Was he offside? I, it was definitely shot, by the way, right? There's no way he did that <laughs> intentionally. <laughs> Let's see it again. Apparently it wasn't offside, so... <laughs> it's great, great shot there from Leno. And then Scott, he just... Lashes one! <laughs> no, no, all planned, guys. All planned. Don't worry. Definitely an assist. Yeah. I definitely didn't shoot horribly wide there. What a, what a great game. I'm, I'm in shock. And no funny business either. I mean, there was one funny business with the ch the Arsenal defenders, but only like one. Well, maybe Leno was. <laughs> maybe Leno owes one as well, but... Wow, and Josef Paulson playing on a 10 rating. I mean, they definitely deserve a, a reward after that. Well done, lads. Right, well... With the way... I mean, it's almost a shame. Everton is 7th and we're 6th, but I think I'm just going to play through that one and then we'll come back to the uh, City game afterwards because that is going to be... Yeah... I mean, now I'm so happy right now, right? It's only fair that you get to see me away to City where I absolutely lose my mind because we get wrecked, absolutely wrecked. So, well, yeah, I'll be back for that one. Two secs. Right, welcome back, lads, for, well, probably some humiliation. And uh, as if that wasn't bad enough, we... Well, I'm glad we didn't show you this match because it was infuriating. Yeah, Everton beat us 2-0. Uh, they had two shots on target, one of them being a penalty. We also got a red card. So, um, yeah, that was fun. We had, like, three one-on-ones with the goalkeeper and didn't score a single one. So, <clears throat> so yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen again because, yikes. So, uh, yeah, of course, Christensen is now suspended, so Mr. Kerr slots in at defense. But other than that, oh, Delaney is now back as well, which is good. Uh, other than that, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You kind of know the team already. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump into it because I'm pretty worried. Also, you'll notice that some of my players are now be being wanted, especially by Tottenham, and uh, I've just o offered Anderson and Delaney new contracts, which they were very happy about. So uh, I'm trying to sort that out. Dolba is worried by Arsenal, but apparently he doesn't want to talk tar contract talk because uh, there's interest around him. Uh, as we have, because of the lack of squad depth, we pulled up two of the new uh, regens uh, into the squad because, well, it's better than nothing. So um, yeah, give them some numbers. Let's go avenge what happened with uh, Manchester City the last time, whatever that was. I mean, I'm, I'm certain they wrecked us, but... Oh, I forgot. Let's see their team as I do my opposition uh, instructions. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty scary. Aguero, of course. Bernardo Silva and uh, De Bruyne. Uh, Laporte on the left uh, might be good for us. I don't know. Just go hard on all the very, very creative people and shove them onto their weaker foot and then uh, pray. Just... just Let's all do a, a silent prayer here. As Paulson is going for, okay. Apparently, uh, our left back Andreas Paulson is like one of the favorites to win, or at least he's in there to win the Young Player of the Year. And uh, I mean, what on earth has just happened? But yeah, the Young Player in England, which is uh, kind of strange. I don't think he will because we bought him in January, I, I believe. Or did we? No, actually, we did buy him in the summer, right? Um, um, so maybe it is. Maybe it is good as. We just see Aguero, like, toying with us, and then pretty fortunate from Bernardo off the player, and then he just tucks it away. Brian with a free kick, stones, and heads it over. Um, let's encourage the last baby. As you can see, it's really spicing up in the league. I mean, we are, what was that, sixth or something? Um, but we have quite a few points down to the seventh, but, of course, City are chasing the the, the league title. What's it? Just the title, I guess, and, uh, yeah. I'm sure that uh, they are very hungry for some success here, as uh, Sterling is just, well, I mean, he's just toying with us, right? But that shot was, well, I want to say Depay-esque, but Depay usually shoots the other angle, like the other way, tries to hit it far corner or whatever. Yeah, as you can see, we are currently six points ahead of Leeds suddenly. Where did they come from? But yeah, seven points ahead of Everton, who beat us, remember. Um, and yeah, quite a gap up until till United. I don't think... <clears throat> we're gonna advance in the league, but I definitely want to hold on to the sixth place, and I think we can. Our schedule after this match should be 
fairly advantageous and uh, yeah you never know what happens so hmm, Smite will actually made a save that is that is surprising man um yeah this is not good um just say expect to see better stuff uh, next half uh, words make more words and then say words and click buttons and that's how you do it yes we're only one nil down right uh, we could potentially get something here. Hoibia is knackered, so he just got a bit of a knock. Let's get Lucas Anderson on as an advanced playmaker, yeah. Let's just do that for now. I mean, if we can just scrape, like, a 1-1 one -one here, that would be beautiful. Well, <laughs> I mean, they just keep coming forward, don't they? Laporte off the... What? Oh, free kick? Oh, it's offside or something. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it. There's only three minutes left, right? Let's just throw them into the wolves. Mr... Brian, no, is it? What's, what's his name? B. Jensen. Mr. Benjamin Jensen. He prefers it on the left, actually, but no, I'm going to play him as an advanced playmate. I'm, well, I'm just going to stick him in there as an EMC. And then Mr. Kim Hepson. Uh, instead of c one care, I guess. Yeah. Central defender. Yeah, why not? Put two youngsters on the pitch. Uh, what are they? I think they're 15. 15 for Jensen. Uh, well, Hepson. Uh, are they going to score now? Just don't, don't do it. Don't do anything silly. Okay, is that him? <laughs> is he involved? Is that his fault? I, I guess it wasn't him, actually. So it's not his fault. Uh, so he was 15, and the other dude is, well, 15 as well. Um, well, they got a debut. Uh, okay, I, I'm just going to say I can't fault them. It, it was pretty shocking, but I'm just happy we only lost 2-0, <laughs> to be honest. Um... It could have gone very wrong there, so, um, yeah. Well, I mean, nothing has really changed here, apart from less leads now, apparently, six points behind us. And, of course, oh, shit, snap. Like, Everton can actually go pretty close to us, but, yeah. Ooh, Yusuf Paulson is top scorer with Mr. Martial. Interesting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> very surprising. Well, yeah, I'm going to keep playing, and then we'll be back for the season finale, wherever that is going to be. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Wolves and Burnley, actually, just to make it easy for everyone. And, uh, yeah, till next time, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. And uh, let me know what you think of the our fancy uh, new regions. I'm definitely excited. So, uh, yeah, till next time.